Happy holidays, friends. Today I'm going to be reviewing this tactical wallet from One Tigris. One Tigris. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. But before I do, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for to support this channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this is a tactical wallet, and it is made of Cordura, so it's very tough. Uh, it's very well made, very sturdy. It's got waterproof zippers. As you can see, it's got the seal to make it waterproof. And I generally, I really like this wallet and I can recommend it. So I'll leave a link below with a few caveats, which I'll go over in a few moments. So on the front, you have an ID window for your driver's license or student ID. You have a quick access pocket for your most commonly used cards. And then another one, maybe you could put another few cards in there uh, if you need it for quick access again. And then inside, when you unzip it, you have a couple additional card slots on the right and a couple additional card slots on the left. What I have in here right now is just some cash since I'm on vacation. That comes in handy. Uh, the little notebook that you saw in my last video, this actually fits inside this wallet perfectly, very nicely. And the pen actually on the outside, I forgot to mention, that goes with the notebook. Um, really, I just put it, stick it right on the outside and I use that quite often whenever I'm out and about and I meet somebody or I need to write something down for someone, I actually use that and it's nice to have that there. And then inside I have a bandage and this is just something that my daughter made in preschool that I like to keep with me. You could put some challenge coins in there, challenge tokens in there. And then inside I just have a little multi-tool pry bar slash bottle opener that I just had lying around. I figure it's always good to have something like that in case you need a bottle opener or something to scrape something off with. So that's the wallet in a nutshell. So I'm going to put everything back in here. As I do, I'm going to go over some of the caveats that I want you to know about why I still recommend this uh, wallet, but just to know in case that you find that this may not work for you. So one of the things is um, cash doesn't quite fit perfectly in here. As you can see, when you fold American dollar bills in half, it, the corners tend to stick out a little bit and it can got caught on, get caught on the zipper which, as you're zipping it up. And so that can sometimes damage the corners of your dollar bills. And so that is something to be aware of. I've gotten used to it, but in the beginning it was actually quite a nuisance and so I'm very careful to try to push it down as far as I can so that the corners of my money doesn't get shredded or ripped apart. The other op the other thing is this quick access uh, pocket here. There's a little small little manufacturing defect in this corner here. It's on the inside. They didn't sew the I guess the hem all the way down so there's a little flap in this corner so if i were to put like my hotel key for instance here um, sometimes it can get see it's already it can get stuck underneath that flap and it can, makes it hard to get out so see I'm, having, I'm even struggling right now to get it out so i don't actually use that pocket anymore for anything um, so i think that's just hopefully just a manufacturing defect on my wallet i don't know if it's on all wallets but that's something to be aware of but in general it is very well built. I really enjoy carrying this. It does add a lot, big bulge to your pocket. So that's why if you want to, you can clip it to your belt or your backpack. But you just have to know this is not a minimalistic style wallet. This is for someone who wants to carry a few extra things like a pen or a notebook or maybe a small multi-tool like me uh, and have that with them on a daily basis. So let me know what you think and if you have any comments, if you like this wallet, or if you have a similar wallet, or uh, if you have other recommendations, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. And until next time, friends, have a happy new year, stay safe, and I'll see you in 2024.